Optifine just released for Minecraft 1.20.1 and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to download it, how to install it, and how to get it into Minecraft and start using Optifine. Now obviously first things first you'll need to download Optifine and luckily if you click the second link in the description down below that will take you here. This is our in-depth guide for getting Optifine. It covers everything in text format so you can either use this video or this article. It's up to you. No matter what though, once you're here, click on the yellow download Optifine button to be taken to the official Optifine download page. Now once you're here, you'll notice that it does say Minecraft 1.20.1, but it doesn't have any versions under it. That's because right now Optifine's in preview, in beta basically. If there is a version under this, you can just go ahead and, well, kind of probably press forward once on your keyboard. Otherwise, what you need to do is select the preview versions here. When you do that, it's going to unlock more versions under Minecraft 1.20.1. As you can see, we've got Optifine here. You always want to go with the one that's the highest number at the end, and if it doesn't say pre, that's a good thing. By the way, if there is no preview versions, or if there's a version listed similar to what we have with 1.19.4, like this, that's great. That means Optifine's out of beta. That's the one you want to use. Nevertheless, once you've got this here, you want to click Mirror next to the 1.20.1 version to be taken to that official download page. On this page, all you've got to do is click on the purple download button and Optifine will begin downloading. While that's downloading, how about a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below to break down .xyz sgh to start an incredible 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. At Simple Game Hosting, you can easily install mods, mod packs, plugins, or anything else you want to your server. It's completely customizable. You get high-quality hardware with a live chat support and an amazing knowledge base to help you out should you have any issues as well. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below to break down xyz slash sgh to start your very own server quickly and easily nevertheless as you can see optifine is now downloaded in the bottom left you may need to keep or save the optifine file you downloaded but that's just going to depend on the browser that you're using nevertheless we can now go ahead and minimize our browser and what we want to do is move optifine to our desktop to do this it's going to be in your downloads folder so open up the start menu type in downloads and open up the downloads file folder in here you will have optifine if yours doesn't say preview that's a good thing so don't worry about that but let's go ahead and drag optifine to our desktop the reason that's a good thing by the way is that means optifine is no longer in beta with optifine on your desktop it's time to install it now this is actually pretty easy assuming you have java so right click on it click on open with click java and click ok but nick I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java here, what you need to do is go to the description down below and go through this guide. This is our complete in-depth text tutorial right down here, as well as video tutorial up at the top on how to get Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods like Optifine, so go ahead and get it. And guess what? That means that in the future, when you want another Minecraft mod, Java 17 is installed already. Now, we also need to get the jar fixed, and what this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer, like Optifine, and link them back to Java. So if you're having issues after you get Java 17, run the jar fix. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and minimize our browser, and I've got Java, so we can right-click on Optifine, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. The Optifine installer will open up. Now, at this point, it is worth noting that you want to make sure that Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher is closed. If it's not, you can have issues with the Optifine installation. You may also want to reopen up Optifine if that is the case. Say those were open after you've closed them. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and install Optifine. All you've got to do is click on the install button. The only reason this might not work, by the way, is if you've never played Minecraft 1.20.1 before. That's the latest release, 1.20.1. Just literally go into Minecraft, open it up, click play, open Minecraft to the main menu, and then quit Minecraft. That's all you've got to do. And then you can come back, reopen up the Optifine installer, and the install button in here will work. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and click OK under Optifine is successfully installed, and that will close out. Now we can also delete Optifine from our desktop. The good news is when we open up the Minecraft launcher, we should have an Optifine profile already set up, ready to go. Like it should be here. However, if you don't, I will show you how to create one just in case. So as we can see, we have one, Optifine's already selected. It says 1.20.1 Optifine under it. If you've got this, click play, click play again, and then skip forward a little in the tutorial so you can see about how to use Optifine a bit. But if you don't have Optifine, or if you click this drop down box and it's not here, go up to installations at the top. Then you wanna make sure modded is checked. As you can see, if I deselect modded there, Optifine disappears. If we check modded, there's Optifine. Click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Optifine or don't have the 1.20.1 version of Optifine, you wanna click new installations. You can name it whatever you want. I'm named this Simple Game Hosting because that's where you can get an amazing Minecraft server quickly and easily. 
for the versions drop down box, we're going to go ahead and select it here. And then we want to select release 1.20.1 Optifine. That's the important part of this that you select release 1.20.1 Optifine here under the versions drop down. I'm also going to change the resolution, but that's just so we can see better once we get in game. Now, if we click create, we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile that most importantly has 1.20.1 Optifine under it. Hover over this, click play, click play again. And now Minecraft is going to open up with, you guessed it, Optifine installed. We'll see you on the main menu to show you some of the cool features that Optifine has in 1.20.1. So here we are, Minecraft is in fact open and there's really not a lot of indication on the main menu that Optifine is installed. You can see modded in the bottom left, but if we go into options and video settings, this is where we can not only see Optifine in the bottom left and what specific version of Optifine and all that, we also have all of Optifine's amazing settings. What's really cool about Optifine is that not only can you increase how Minecraft looks, you can also make it look worse. You might be like, why would you want to make Minecraft look worse? Well, it's a visual mod for both ends of the spectrum. If you want to get a ton of FPS with Optifine, you can do that. If you want to get amazing graphics out of Optifine where you go in here and you turn this to fabulous and you turn on some shaders and all that, that is possible. By the way, you might have been like, why did shaders not work? You actually can't use shaders with fabulous graphics, so there we go. Let's go ahead and select one of these shaders packs. I kind of pre-installed these for this video, and then we can go ahead and click done. By the way, if you want to install shaders packs, we have an in-depth guide on how to do that in the description as well as at the end of this video. Let's go ahead and jump into single player. We'll be able to see that, sure enough, this is active, Shaders is active, Optifine's active, and everything looks amazing. There we go. Now, there is something amazing about all the way in FOV for Shaders screenshots, and truthfully, stunning Shaders screenshots. Look at the, the sun rays coming through around the bamboo. Beautiful. And by the way, if you want to switch Shaders packs, you can do that right in game. So you can just go in here and we could switch to BSL shaders just to show off another shaders pack and show you that this really is working as it should. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy Optifine, enjoy shaders, enjoy less lag, whatever you use Optifine for, even if it is something like the Zoom.